Cynthia is on the phone right now from Wilmington, North Carolina. Cynthia, we appreciate your time here. And congratulations, first and foremost, on your new head coaching gig with UNC Wilmington. Are you excited about that? Well, I am absolutely excited. Thank you so much. Um, I'm excited to be here in this Colonial Athletic Association in the conference. And um, I think we're going to do some really great things here in Wilmington. I'm excited. Uh, we brought some new staff in. We've been moving from Texas. So it's been a busy summer, but I'll tell you what, I'm excited about it. And we're excited for this uh, new opportunity for you. Obviously, you want to give back. You're going to be giving back to the youngsters coming up. You're going to be turning these young women into ladies and into prosperous citizens, obviously, and uh, good basketball players as well. Now, as we look bigger picture here, Cynthia, Last year, you were inducted into the Women's Basketball Hall of Fame. You are going back-to-back -back Hall of Fame here. This time, you're going to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame in the month of August, about midway through. Your thoughts on that, and congratulations, obviously, on another fantastic honor. Well, thank you. I, I'm amazed. It, this is an amazing honor for me. For, it, it's just incredible um, to, to think that this little girl from Watts um, coming out and, and going overseas and playing for 11 years and coming back with four in the WNBA and now having the amazing honor of being inducted into the Naismith Memorial Hall of Fame is amazing. It's incredible. And it's too big for, I think, a kid to dream of. I don't think you, you dream of championships, but you don't dream of making it to the Hall of Fame. For the, so for, for me, this is a tremendous honor. Well, Cynthia, Steve Smith, and I got a chance to be there when they were announced in Indianapolis. Uh, once again, I want to say congratulations to you. I just wanted to ask you a question about the NBA. You know, we have this big three. You got a chance to play with a big three with Tina Thompson and also Cheryl Swoops. How can these guys, you know, play together, win together, and also individually still be their own players? Well, I think the most important thing that Cheryl and Tina and I had, I mean, we had Kim Parade, Jeanette Arcane, and a host of other players that, that blended well together. But I think the one thing that we had is we had one common goal. And that one common goal was to win a championship. And so no matter what happened outside, off the court, or what happened, you know, in the locker room, every time we went on the court, we all brought that one goal. We all came together for that one goal, and that was to win. And it was against anybody. So we formed a, a bond, a team, a, a force against anybody. So when you look at Dwayne Wade and when you look at LeBron James and, and Bosch, you, you, you have to make sure that, yeah, you have the talent. And on paper, it all looks good. But can they bond to the level to where when they step on that court, it's all about winning. It's not about shining. It's about winning. And it's about putting team first. And can they shine and win to the level that you and Swoops and Thompson did back in the day with the Houston Comets? Talk to me about, and all of our viewers around the world on NBA TV, about the best big three in WNBA history. Is it absolutely a done deal that it is Cooper, Swoops, and Thompson? Or are there others, do you think, Cynthia? Well, I think you have a, a few options, so to speak, but no one has ever won four WNBA championships in a row except us. So I will say the big three of all time so far in the WNBA has to be Tina Thompson, Cheryl Swoops, and Cynthia Cooper. Um, but, you know, there's still room for, for other players and, and teams to, to fit into that mold. I will tell you that in our second season in the WNBA, when we had an, a winning percentage of 90%, we went 27 and three that was one of the most dominating performance for a team in history and that's both men and women and I, and I think it was a testament to coach Chancellor bringing us together and managing the team well and everybody on that team having one goal in mind and that's to win you know you, you can say the MVPs you can talk about the Hall of Fame but there ain't nothing like there's nothing like standing on the podium and receiving that trophy and knowing that you're the best the best in the world well, Cynthia, Steve Smith again. Uh, you know, you were one of my favorite players to watch. Now I have to ask you something about coaching. What style of coaching will you have down at UNC? Will you be running gun, up the temple like you played, or will you walk it up, which I doubt. I just want to hear your, <laughs> your style that you plan on coaching and playing on UNC. 
Well, well, we'll do, Steve. Steve, we'll do a balance of both. We, I like to, to entertain. I like to entertain. And so I like to get up and down. In order to do that, you've got to play some defense. You've got to get some stops and be able and, and have a point guard and some posts that can rebound and a point guard that will get it out and run it for you. Then you've got to have your stud on the wing that can just get it done from the wing, slice and dice, and not only get to the basket for herself, but also make the teammates around her better. So that's what we're trying to create here at UNC Wilmington. We're trying to get it done in a big way. So I like to go up and down. I like to press. And, and then we'll do some special things. We'll do some special things half court as well, trap and man-to-man. And we'll do some things that that allow us. We'll do some things on defense that will allow us to get up and down on offense. So I like it up and down, but I want to have poise in the half court when we're forced to play in the half court offensively. Well, we can't wait to watch, and uh, life is officially good for Cynthia Cooper. Back-to-back <laughs> Hall of Fames. You've got a new head coaching gig and a beautiful interview here on NBA TV. Cynthia, we appreciate your time. Good luck this season and beyond with UNC Wilmington, and we will talk to you soon.